Okay. <laughs> On your sewing machine, you have a half inch, right? And then you have the five eight. Five eight is after the half inch. Okay, they got it right here. Yeah. But not all machines well, say half inch. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe there's something else that. Uh, so you line. It goes on the top of the spread. Where's your drop? Ooh, there you go. So you put that on your your five eight stick. Drop your needle. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, I I grew up watching my mom and grandma sew, and you know I didn't have an interest in it. I would rather climb trees or you know go swimming or do sports or whatever. And I never took an interest in it. But then I remember they taught it in school in Boston. They had you know home ec. They had oh, you know cooking, sewing, music. Well, they still have music, but they had tons of, um, you know, shock where men can learn how to nail a hammer to a piece of board. Guys don't even know how to do that. I almost feel like teaching a hammer, uh, a construction, but I won't do that all the time. But really, you know, I learned a lot of things that I know how to do now from home ec. And one of them, one of the things was not sewing, but I watched my mom and my grandma do those things. Now. As I grew up and lived in California, I wanted to learn that. I wanted to make my pants, so I wanted a pair of red bottoms. I sat down at a machine and just did it. I went to a lady and she showed me how to thread my machine, same as what these ladies are doing here. And, you know, from there I just took off. But now, coming down to the center and working here and seeing that a lot of these young girls would never experience, or boys, would experience the thrill of, you know, having home ec and learning things that you can do with your hands and your mind, you know. Your hands, your mind, and your brain together. And so when I, when I thought about teaching sewing, it wasn't for a, um, the original idea that come from me doing it for fundraisers. Like, doing it for free. You know, just teach some of the little girls in, uh, that come to the church or teach some of the young ladies in lower ninth classes, whoever wants to come. But the problem was funding. I, I didn't have sewing machines, and I'm sure a lot of those kids didn't have sewing machines. So I thought, well, why don't, can I, you know, ask Reverend if I could send out an email asking if we can get sewing machines. And that's how it started. Step on there a little. Don't care. So, don't make it move. She's so I can't believe I did that. She's so mighty.